Now, beyond a Gleason score, we also get uh, a disease burden, i.e. what's the extent of the disease? I, how much? How much are we seeing? Number one, there are more positive cores. They will take a slightly different number of cores when they're assessing a particular area. But crudely speaking, as I'm sure you can understand, the greater the number of cores that are involved, the greater the volume of cancer that is present, the greater the disease burden, and we factor all of that in when we're making treatment-related decisions. Now, beyond having more cores involved, we also get a percentage of a particular core that is replaced by cancer. They're anywhere between 10 to 20 mil long, and in the report, it will tell us specifically a percentage. So we might get 30% of the core is replaced with cancer, and then we get a Gleason score.